and probiotics for weight loss. Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio, and recently I posted a video discussing probiotics for weight loss and, and how probiotics might be able to manipulate the microbiota to garner weight loss. And unfortunately, the results of the studies are not hugely promising. One to three pounds are what is seen in the best trials of using probiotics or prebiotics to manipulate the gut in order to um, garner weight loss. Now, there was one concept I discussed, and I wanted to do a follow-up note on this. This was the Formicutes to Bacterioides ratio, okay? The erroneous premise that is still circulating to some extent uh, based upon animal data that I think really needs to be updated, and I hope that we will update, uh, is that this, this claimed imbalance in the Formicutes to Bacterioides ratio can cause obesity. And essentially, these are Firmicutes and Bacteroides are two major phylum of bacteria in the gut. And the criticism or the hypothesis has been that westernized diets lead to high levels of Firmicutes relative to Bacteroides and that causes obesity. Shown in the animal data, not reinforced in the human data. So, again, high Firmicutes, bad, causes weight gain is the hypothesis. Now, another reason that this hypothesis might be erroneous is because the bacteria, the probiotics used in the weight loss trials, like the Bifidobacterium species and the Lactobacillus species that I mentioned in my last video, are of the Firmicutes phyla. So by giving more of the bacterial phyla that is supposed to cause weight gain, we're actually producing, producing a small amount of weight loss. How do we account for this? I think via two reasons. One, the Firmicutes bacteriotes ratio is erroneous, as I've discussed uh, previously. And two, because the primary benefit that we see here might be the anti-inflammatory benefit that we can receive from using a probiotic. Because remember, probiotics don't colonize. They are, they're transient passerbys. Uh, only for a couple weeks, but in that time, they can have an effect on metabolism and on inflammation and, and leaky gut. So the likely primary benefit coming from these Firmicutes phyla probiotics is anti-inflammatory, and that's probably why we're seeing a small amount of weight loss. So hope this is helpful, um, and we'll keep you posted on other uh, updates on this issue as they become available. Thanks.